and I'm back with Arctic product something very interesting now you remember I did uh, the Arctic Bionics uh, 120 millimeter fan we had the white one and the red one and well they show some really awesome results in the sound and the speeds and how to manipulate it and everything now it's time for something well a bit different we're going to talk about today the Arctic Freezer the eSports 33 well the Freezer 33 eSports 1 tower CPU cooler now since it's the same Bionics fan over here I'm not going to talk about the fan no you're going to have a link below so you could go and check the speeds and the decibel level the sound level actually and the noise that it makes uh, in the description below but today we're going to check how this cools compared to the stock cooler for instance on the Intel processor so guys basically wait for the intro to end and then we're going to unbox it and test it first things first uh, let's start with unboxing and to see how this cooler looks in real now you've seen you can see the pictures online and that kind of stuff and I'm more interested in seeing the product uh, first person now I'm going to put the cooler aside and to see what we got in this small box uh, I know you get those uh, brackets and those mounts for your uh, motherboard for to attach the cooler to the motherboard but there's one thing here that is actually really cool now we have the mountings now we have the mountings for your Intel processor you have the mountings for your AMD processors and you have and you have this kind of well let's say brackets or you could call them strings or string metals or anything similar uh, they are designed since this is one called you have the ability to add another bionics fan to your cooler which is really cool but I'm going to get to that part later on so you have this is the uh, the bracket that goes on the back side you have some dumping pads over here you have the Arctic MX4 thermal compound you have loads of screws this is for the Intel 115 something socket it's X on the end because it supports the 1151 1155 socket and that kind of stuff we have here for the uh, Intel uh, core uh, processors that's, that are uh, 2066 and 2011 uh, chipsets sockets sorry and you have this for the AM4 the AMD processors uh, screws uh, here are the brackets which have different holes so basically you have the ones for the AMD and one for the Intel processor now let's go with the cooler so from this side it looks just like a normal bionics fan right well this is it guys uh, the design well not the design the looks uh, it actually you have the bionics fan in four different colors you have it in white red green and yellow and looking at this kind of combination the green and the black it really looks cool I mean all the colors they choose to uh, place on their Bionics fan are really a great combination with this uh, mate, uh, matte uh, black color and the whole CPU passive block is colored in black even the pipes here and the shroud that goes on your motherboard and you need some clear uh, surface to contact your CPU for better cooling not some paint blocking the uh, cold uh, thermal stuff going through directly to your CPU and cooling it properly as it should now here we have a nice braided cable 
and if you remember or if you watched right when I said to check out the Bionix fan uh, review and unboxing it, this one as it's normal uh, has the two side 4 pin PWM connector so I explained it in the fans uh, part where I unboxed it you have for instance I don't know uh, front fans you have the rear fans and then you have this tower uh, you connect all the fans on these splitters so you connect two fans on one splitter you connect uh, the second one uh, on the CPU and then the fourth one well third fourth one uh, from the rear of the case and you connect the main connector here on your motherboard you adjust the certain speed that you wish for your I don't know fans to spin you get uh, you don't get those kind of circulation of your fans you don't get any let's say turbulence okay so the constant airflow through your case is the same speed because all the fans uh, spin at the same speed so this is really cool because it's a nice airflow through your whole case and that is really great really great idea from arctic and very nicely designed yet very simple isn't it you can connect up to four or five fans that is what they calculated because you have a certain amount of wattage that goes through these cables and they said four five at least so two at the front one at the CPU and one at the back or if you decide to use these and add another Bionics fan it's it should be very simple to add it let me just check and that is it this one goes on the other side but I just wanted to show you how easy it is as you can see to connect it now guys the whole point of this video is to check the difference between a stock cooler and this cooler as well we're going to go back in that part of the room and connect it to the motherboard and to the processor and see what are the temperatures of your processor while using this one instead of stock guys there you have it now from a different perspective here you can see my test bench bench isn't idle as it should be but we got some great results and you've seen in the few seconds few minutes ago uh, where I compared the stock cooler against the Arctic Freezer 33 eSports one now this one has and that's why the name is one says that it has only one fan, the Bionics from Arctic 120 millimeter fan. Now the difference between the stock cooler and the Arctic freezer is four to six uh, Celsius, uh, four to six uh, degrees. But what is actually the difference now? It cools better, not by much, but still you have the difference for six degrees tops and that is really good but the thing that I couldn't measure because of the whole noise in the room the decibel level now when you 
push the processor up to 100% and you have the stock cooler. The stock cooler starts to make such a huge noise that it could be unbearable. On the other hand, the Arctic freezer here, it goes 6 degrees lower by the temperature on the processor on the 100% of the usage and you don't hear it at all which is really cool because I think the fan doesn't go that much up and the motherboard has the integrated chip that controls your fan so it pushes the fan to go faster if the processor temperature goes up since the processor temperature never went above 50 there was a news for the fan to go any faster than it was running and you can see here it was an open case so imagine the environment where you have the one bionics on the front the bionics on the cpu tower the freezer and one bionics on the rear you have a constant airflow as i said before when you connect them to your 4 pwm pin connector they have the same airflow they have the same speed and everything and the uh, air goes directly nicely through the whole chassis through the whole case without any problem so definitely the temperature will go even lower even though this is open air testing bench as any other and well you won't even hear it even more because it's closed you have only the front and the back uh, exhaust and that's the only thing so in my opinion definitely worth definitely saves you well first heat it dissipates the heat better because of the bigger cooler the bigger passive cooler and more pipes that uh, go uh, directly down to the copper uh, part uh, that covers the cpu and the best thing about it it really cools down the processor with lower decibel level so it doesn't make that much sound so guys i hope you liked the video a bit different angle than usual but uh, decided to show you my <laughs> test bench rig or something like that yeah so uh, hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to check the link below uh, where to get your arctic freezer 33 esports one and also i'll put the link below as i said for the bionics review and where to buy the bio bionics fans 120 and 140 millimeter and that would be it thanks for watching don't forget to click the thumbs up button and see you next time guys very very soon bye bye